the rig for a few days. I tell you what, the old Mahindras aren't bad. It is a bit of a rig to drive, to be honest. Wasn't expecting that. Got it for a couple of days, my mind's getting in and a full lift kit. Well, in the big rig, the old Mahindra from Full Wheel Drive Central. I've got the lads sorting me out with a new lift kit today, thanks to Full Wheel Drive Central and Christopher Carney. So I am just cruising down the highway now to go pick it up and we'll see how it is. I'm interested to see how the new suspension goes. That goes, the boys have hooked me up with a good deal. And I will also probably grab some lures while I'm in there because they have a great range of the lures I use, all the Z-Mans and whatnot. They've also got some rods and reels that I want to try out as well. So I might even tempt myself with one of them, but I'll show you what the D-Max looks like when I get there. Chee -hoo. Ah well, and the excitement, I completely forgot to pull the camera out when I got to Four Wheel Drive Central the other day. But that's alright, I've now been driving it for two days, I've got the boat on at the moment, towing it out to the creek, and it is bloody lovely, it's like driving on a cloud again. The boys hooked me up amazingly. It ended up being an um, EFS kit I put back in it again, so I'm happy with that. And um, I also bought a few lures while I was in there, so I'll try them out today. But if you do want to go in and see the um, Ultimate Pro Crab Pots in person, they have them in store there set up. They've got a 650 pot and a 900 pot set up in store, so go in and have a look. If you like them, oh, I'm sure you're going to like them. Um, grab yourselves a couple and go and test them out, get out there and get amongst it. But that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm going to chuck four of the pots in. It's going to be a dust size matter crabbing trip. So I'm going to do two of the 650 pots and two of the 900 pots. And we'll see what does better. I'll leave them overnight. We'll probably have a check today, depending on whether I have a fish or not. But um, yeah, we'll leave them in overnight and we'll check them tomorrow and we'll see if the 650 pots can produce as well as you all know I do with the 900 pots. So we'll get out there, I'll see you when we're at the creek baiting the pots up, eh? Let's get it, my dudes. This looks like a good spot as any to pull up and set the pots up, eh? Boy. Perfect. Landing. Sliding. Lovely. Let's get some pots set up, eh? Uh, like I said, we got two of the 650s and two of the 900s, and we'll see if the 600s can hold their weight against the old 900s. Oh, where are you? Come here. Remember, work smarter, not harder, boys. Get yourselves a crab pot spreader. There's a few brands around that do them. I think Crab would do one. Um, I think even old Skid Pig does one on his website. I think he's got the crab cuffs on there now as well. So, pretty cool. Getting amongst it. Old Cody and the crab cuffs. Mm, love to see it. All right, so here and for the bait, this is me and Jacko went for a quick little fish. I've been doing a bit of work on the weekend, so I haven't been able to go out, but we snuck out last Sunday and got some nice fish. As you can see, that was just one little day's fishing. I think there's four fish there, but um, I might roll on them clips now while I'm setting these up and you can have a look at how we did, me and old Ultimate Pro Deckhand. But I'll get these pots set up and we'll get them in the water catching the crabbies with any luck. All right, I'll roll on them clips now. That's the one. Right, it's a cod. Be a 
Barra. <clears throat> Salmon. It's not coming up. Yep. Good salmon. Yeah, it's trying to tell me what a real salmon looks like. Put him out the front deck. That's a good salmon, bro. <clears throat> That's what they are on the sea under. He's a goodie. <clears throat> good fun, too. Just, just quietly. Get your grip left up, eh? For the lads, eh? Beautiful. I'll get him bled, because they are lovely fresh, and I will put him on ice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, I'm the Lexus, so, eh? Oh, godly. Bloody green eye. Bloody green eye. They pull hard at the start, them bastards. Another cod. I don't want to be pushing legal, but we don't want him. Oh yes, I'll get the net, eh? I can see in here. There we go. Look at that, boys and girls. That is a donkey salmon. Woo! <laughs> Lovely. Couple of fillets for the boys. Is that recording? Oh, this is a fish. I will get the net ready, my friend. I've seen a nice big sean. Finger mark do hang out with the salmon. No, it's not a finger. Oh, grunner. Good Woo! grunner. Good grunner. Good grunner. Nice work, bud. <laughs> you turned into a day for old uncle, eh? <laughs> that is a good fish. Thank you for coming, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Where the boss gets that fish? <laughs> you can give him a measure. They got to be forty, but I think he's forty all day, bud. He's good. Mm. Nice feed there. Better than the salmon, that's for sure. Lovely. It's gotta be. It's a little crab. Rodley. Fuck you, Rodney. See you later, Rodney. We don't need you, bud. Backflip too. I give him a 9.5 for that entry. It was not that, not bad, eh? Oh, you tough. You tough, Judge, eh? Nothing's ever good enough for you, Jack. No, you were fine. You did good. He just. Oh. You done the good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jack moved fast. I think I'm still recording. I hope I'm still recording. What do we got there, big fella? Decent Nothing. fish. Decent fish? Yeah. All right. <gasps> Gone. Bad, good fish. I was just about to get the net for ya. He took off out the front. Might have ripped his lip, eh? Nah. Oh, nothing. Snapped it. Oh. Get real emotional with that boat. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
There's some good stuff hanging out, man. Yeah. We might sort these ones out. Yeah, we're gonna have to have a beer. We're gonna have to have a beer to make room, boys. Take my um power over here. What a problem to have. Just trying to get that sinker overboard so I don't drop in them lines. Yes, I will agree with that. Do you know where them scissors ended up, my boy? Um, oh, they're falling down, all good. Catch another one. So, as you would have seen from them clips, I have my favourite bait. The elusive blue salmon. Not so elusive in winter. So um, we will go get these pots in the water and I'll try and get some more baits because we only got a couple in that first throw. And we will go and have a fush. Have a good old fush. See how we go. We got the four pots here. Just gonna do a string along here for today. See how we go. Depends whether I'll move them or not overnight but there's no spot like the present. We're going to do one 900 and then one 600, one 900, one 600, because you're only allowed four pots per person. Old boy might come for a run in the morning, a bit of a fish and a check of the crab pots, but um, we'll see how we go, eh? Let's get it, my dudes. All righty, we're still in three meters of water here. Gonna have a go right at the end of this sandbar because all the crabs will be moving off with the tide. And we'll chuck them right on the edge, I reckon. Will be our best bet. All right, we're gonna go this fella here. Still in three meters of water. Still gonna drop another meter or a bit. So we'll leave them in a bit of water. Perfect. To the next. Number three. Bombs away. And lucky last, lucky last pot. Little gutter there, perfect. Let's go get some bait. We'll try and get some baits. Go for a bit of a fish for the day. Try and get some fillets for the curry mob. Like I said, it's been, oh, I think this is three weeks since curry's been fishing or crabbing, so other than the other day when me and Jacko got out for a little bit, but. <coughs> Let's see how we go. Try and get some bait. Oh, I think we got some. I think we got them. <laughs> Two casts and that will do. Boys and girls, you just need to know where to cast. 
spending the time in the creeks is how you do it getting out and amongst it or spending a thousand dollars on Ryan Moody's chasing liveys <laughs> First bait in the water. Let's see how that goes. I've got to rig up my other line so that can soak while the other one's rigging up. See how we go. Cod. Cod, God. Eat it, bud. Eat it, bud. Eat it, bud. Little, little codly. Hey, little codly. You can have that. Have that for your dinner. She did. What do we got this time? Oh, Jackie boy. Oh, finger. Lovely. Lovely. Woohoo! He is a beautiful fish. Look at that, boys and girls. Look at him. That is a lovely specimen. Chee hoo. That's what we're here for. All right, this to the bottom, and I think I got another one on that cod this time. That's all right. Literally just hit the bottom. That other one must be baited while I was sorting that finger out. Oh, I thought you swallowed that, but you haven't. It's just there. It's just there. Hungry fella. See you, bud. Oh, there's a fish on here. <laughs> That's why I'm not getting any bites. There's a bloody fish on it. It'll be a cod that's gone into his cave. Yep. I wasn't wrong. Hopefully a finger comes. And I pretty well conclude the fishing for today. We'll go check them pots. Had one nice finger mark for the day. <coughs> We've got to go get the kitties, so that's him. We'll wind this fella up and we'll go check the pots. <coughs> oh, just swallowed a bug, bud. Uh, spicy bug. All right. Let's go check the pots, boys. <coughs> I'm not expecting too much today. They've only been in, what's the time, 1.30, so they've only been in for just over an hour. <coughs> so we'll see how we did. Rope should be coming this way because the tide is going out. <coughs> and Bob is your uncle or auntie or whatever they, oh, or whatever they want to be. It is 2024, remember? See if there's any moving out here, all right? I 
I see a crab. Doesn't look that big, I see a bit of mud. There's only a little one in there. And it's a Jenny, so she can stay for tonight. Have fun in there, big girl. Let us see if there's any in pot number two. This will be one of the 600 pots. See if there's anything in her, eh? boys in the 600 pot you gotta love that eh well the 600 is producing i think he's legal he looks good but the tiny pot could be deceiving so let's find out eh we shall find out together get you out of there get you out of there i tell you what he's gonna be a nice full crab if he's legal i can go back out Uh, measure. I reckon he's gonna be good, boys. I reckon he's gonna be good. And he is under. Oh, that point to that point, just under. Good crab, nice and rusty, but he's under that fella. 600's got the better crab so far. We'll keep going. Off to the next. I don't know if I've told you this before, but I love this shit. Whether I'm catching them or not, it's my happy place. It's my happy place. Now, Happy Gilmore goes to his happy place. This is mine. Oops. Little. Little Jenny, so she'll attract the boys. Get back out there. Get back out there, bud. with the big boy hey have a go at him there he is hey that's a good one I don't have to but I will measure him there's a keeper that's a good one I don't have to but I will measure him there's a keeper there's a keeper 600, eh? The little pots. Us for the big crabs. Little pot, big crab. 
It happened to me last time I went crabbing. Look at him. <laughs> that's, a, that's a goodie, boys. Have a look on the measure. Hey, he, that's on the point. He is a good centimeter over that fella. Nice and rock solid. Can't push none of that in. We'll get him a crab cup. We will get him a crab cup, eh? Grand spankers. Daughter help me tie these crab cuffs. <clears throat> Simple as. Box with a nice finger mark, not too bad for an hour and a half. Lovely. All right, we're going to come back in the morning. Probably with the old boy, we'll check them pots. But so far the 650s are kicking butt. So um, like I said, I'll see you in the morning. Have a good night, let's go boys. Very, very quiet. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. He's faster than me, bud. Don't know if you've seen him. Pretty quick. He's living under the container. Same as me, little stumpy at home. Hey, big fella. Howdy, howdy, and good morning. This bloody idiot left everything in the boat. We pulled up at the fishing spot after getting bait, and I realised I didn't have my cameras or me and Coda remote. So, a quick stop back to the car, and we're going back fishing. Looks like it could be a good day. Got the old boy on board, just found some fish. So we'll go back to where we found them and drop a livey on them. See us there. Oh, she's a chilly one for Townsville Oceans. We'll see if the fishies are still here. <clears throat> Let's see if they are still hither. Big bust ups in the distance and you're just looking at Curry's ugly head. But let's see if they're still here. A couple of lumps there. This is what I'm fishing. We just found them again. Let's hope we can get one to bite this time. Baits in the water. Listening to the fishing show. Saturday morning ritual. How are they not biting? There is some fish there. Wow. Net job or no? Up and feet club. Oh yeah, a little silver Jew. Say, went around my line for a little bit. Got it. Yep, good salmon. Get that net ready when you can. And uh, I go over mine. Over. Yep. I think he's still got it. And uh, yeah.
Some girls need a lot of love. Some girls don't. This is Marty. Come and join us live every Saturday morning from 7 a.m. for three hours of the best fishing show around. We have great characters like Andrew Eddinghausen, Luke Hughes, Michael Guest, Alex Julius, and a host of local talent. We've also got some great prizes to give away with our weekly bingo draw. So come on and join us every Saturday morning from 7 o'clock. You are more. Um. Live Saturday from 7 on 4K1G. Don't keep saying Do it now. The gateway to Hinterman Channel, the Great Barrier Reef, and the Palm Island Group. The only stock contained absolute water. With a product family owned and operated. Just bring your food, your beer, and your fishing gear. Oh, and request a room that Gary and Marty haven't seen. Little Papa. Yeah, there's many four drive clubs. Put back one, that's how little it is. <laughs> they don't like the boat, as Jack said in the last bit. They get real emotional when they get near the boat. It'd probably be just legal, but I don't want him. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. The young women that are employed by the group, so they run that. Hey, now listeners, a lot of uh, a lot of their ears would have pricked up then for wow, we would like to be a part of that. How do they get involved with being part? Well, is there a particular name for the group? Or yeah, it's just the Folder of Central Girls Club. So right. uh, if people Mate. follow. Uh, we don't need him. Central See you, bud. Just in general, yep. there's also a, a group for. Got him, bud. There's breakfast, brunch. Come back when you're hungry, buddy. I got you covered. <sighs> Brim. Oh, puffer fish. Holy. Hold on, leave him, in, leave him dangling there. I'll just unhook him or what? Green toady. Holy, he's big. No, he gone. He gone. He probably bit your hook off. No. no. That was a big Tony. I hope you've seen that. That was a big one. We'll commence the fishing for today. It's time to go see if size does matter. It does in certain aspects of life, but let's see if it does in crab pot aspects of life. So I did better in the 650 pots yesterday. I think I got one legal crab and one just under, and only Jenny's in the big crab in the big pot. So, better to go over and get the first pot. I'll see you when we're there. Yeah, 900 pot first. So this is our first pot coming up here, and it should be a 900. Then the next pot will be a 650. Then a 900. Then a 650. So, let's see what did better. It's got one of my favourite baits in it, other than. Oh, well, it's up, up there with cod, but um, cod is probably my favorite bait, but we got salmon in these pots, so let's see how we did. Feels like there's a crab or two in it. Could be full of mud. No, there's a crab or two in it. <laughs> crab or three. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon? A few crabs in there, eh? I can see one, two, two legals by looking at it. And that is why I leave the jennies in it that I catch, because they attract the bucks. But first things first, we'll get rid of this stinky bait. Simple as unhooking that with the Ultimate Pro Crab Pot. Little shake, and bait is gone. No more stinkies in the boat. And now we will start sorting these crabs out. couple at a time so you don't get bit leave your pot up there that fella looks legal and he's getting bitten and that is a legal crab he is rock solid. Rock solid, the old boy can have cuff them while I'm sorting them. 
them two are under. See you later. So that's three crabs out of this pot. We'll keep a tally so far. Alright. There is another three. So that's six crabs, but they're all under. So six crabs, one legal so far. And I think these two are going to be under two. Unfortunately, one's a Jenny. And this fella has wedged himself right up there. Here, bud. Thanks, mate. Come out. So, we got eight crabs. Two more, one Jenny, one buck. Eight crabs, one legal in the 900. Give him a quick wash. him down. Off to the net. Coming up to pot number two. This is a 650 pot. Let's see if the numbers are up there with the 900s. Not the numbers though that matters more than anything, it's the quality. We want the big boys. Let's see how we went, eh? See crabs? I definitely see crabs. Ooh. He looked alright. He looked alright. What do we got in there? We got, look at that. Four crabs in this little pot. And one of them doesn't look too bad. He'll be close anyway. Get rid of that bait, same as the big pot. She comes out pretty easy. Let's see how we went. Let's see how we went. Oh, look at how close that is, but he's just under. Oh, heavy crabs, eh? He'll be under too, just. See you, bud. Unfortunately, so four crabs for the 650, no legals, but all males, which is interesting. I've only caught males in the 650. A little interesting fact. Pot number three, the last 650 pot. See if it can produce a feed. A feed. Oh, it's a 900, that's right. We got one in there that's legal. Maybe two. Oh, that's a Jenny? Hey, that's a buck. Maybe two that's legal. Let us see. Touching. He's touching. Make sure. I'm not getting done. Yep. He's a goodie. He's a goodie. 
He's on the one more in here that's a goodie. I think he's a one winger though, unfortunately. Get them all out, boys. He is a one winger. He looks like a good crab though. More than legal, that fella. More than legal, but he's a one winger. Make sure he's full. Oh, he's as hard as a rock. As hard as a rock. He good? I think he's going to be under, but I like to harass him. Under by a mill. That fella's a little bit smaller, so he goes back to get rid of that bait and we'll go to the lucky last 600 pot. crabs than I thought. Big Jenny in there. That girl's a big Jenny right there. I don't know if there's anything legal but we'll find out. There goes the bait and here goes the crabs. I didn't check the, how hard he was. That four crabs out of this pot, that's a massive Jenny. Look at the size of her. That is a big Jenny girl. She goes back a couple of small bucks. I think there's one more there. That bloke. Seven crabs, two legals out of that pot. So it's around about a tie. Oh no, the actual 600's got two crabs in one pot, so they're winning. No, you got two out of the last one. Oh, did I? Well, there you go. It's an absolute tie. They are some good crabs. Lovely. I guess I'll see you on the next one. He is rock solid. That's where you want to check them, make sure all them. One, two, three are full, and the easy way to check them that a lot of people do, but can be a false reading underneath there. So, the old boy's having a good old time crab no, stuff in here, Mark. That's the last cuff anyway. Oh, is it? Yeah. And we'll get this fella on ice. I forgot to bring the other pack of cuffs, so we will get this fella down the bottom so we don't attack them fellas. And the boys are off. I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy your weekend.